Good morning, children. Today we are going to start with HTML for class 10th. As you know, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and basically it is used for designing web pages and website. Now the question arises: How to design web pages? For that, we required one text editor like Notepad, or you can say Gedit. If you are working in Windows, you can go for Notepad. If you are working in Ubuntu, you can go for Gedit. And after that, we required one web browser to see the output. How to write HTML codes? For that, we require tags, and that are the basic element of a HTML. And this less than sign and greater than sign is used for writing the tag name. And here in between, the tag name comes. Tags are of two types. One is your container tag, other is your empty tags. Container tags are those tags we contain. Both on tag as well as off tag. Where in the case of empty tags, it contains only on tag. How to define on tag and off tag? In the on tag, the HTML tag is written using this bracket, and inside this tag name comes. And in the off tag, means a slash sign will come before the name of the tag. And in the empty tag, simply we used to write the Name of the tag and it will work for you. Like we have used one empty tag here, HR, which is used for inserting a horizontal rule on the page, and we are to bring the cursor to the next line. There are three basic tags of HTML are there, which we are going to use, and other tags will come inside the body tag. So your first basic tag is your HTML itself. Second is your head tag, and third is your body tag. So all the tags come inside the body tag. It defines the head of the page and HTML, which lets you know you are going to design the HTML page. So let's design one simple page, web page here. I have drawn one output over here, and here you find that I have written my first page as a title. And these are the content of the web page. If you are seeing this on the browser, you find that it looks like a web page. To write this web page, we are going to use a Notepad, as I told you earlier, and then we are going to start with this. This will be your first thing. What you are going to write on the Notepad, HTML means using this less than sign and then HTML and then greater than sign. After that, the second very important tag is your head tag, and after that we have used title tag. As you see. Here I have given my first page as a title. So in the title, we are going to write this my first page as a title. It will come on the browser screen. Children, here we find we are using leafo method. Last in, first out means the tag whose work is over. We need to close this, that particular tag immediately. And if you see this title tag, it also seems to be a container tag because here it's on tag and it's a off tag. So how to judge whether the tag is container tag or empty tag? Simply, it carries information in between. Fine. So the title work is over. So immediately, I have closed the title, and then I find that my head is also generated. So I have closed the head tag. Now this particular portion is called the body of the page. So we start with the body tag, and then you see the output. It seems like this particular content is at the center of the page. So I have used the center tag to align the text at the center. Basically, your content will start from the left side. So we have seen it's on the center. So we have defined the center tag. Then simply we'll write welcome was the first matter. So I have written welcome over here. Then you find after this, this two is coming in the next line. So we need one empty tag called br to bring the line to the next line. So we use br and then we have typed two. Then again you find my page is written. Just down the line. So again, I have used one br tag, and then my page. Then immediately I find yes, my web page is designed. So what comes? Leafo method again. Last in, first out. If you see, this was the last tag which was in. So first we'll close that. Means center tag is closed. Then we find the body tag was there. So we have closed the body tag. And after that, we find HTML. So we have closed the HTML. This way you are going to write this code for this particular simple web page, and after that you have to save it. When you save this, you have to go for save as option, and then you are going to give any name to your file like abc. I am saving along with the extension name dot html. You save it and then open into the browser. You'll find your web page will come 
as it's given in the output next in the next class thank you